It's been nearly one full year since Microsoft Flight Simulator arrived on the PC. Towards the end of last year, I took a close look at all the various water effects, the coral water we can see here, the water masks and all the rest of it. The idea was to compare the lovely looking trailers, the Oceana trailer here, to how it appeared in the game at the time. So this is how Nassau looked in 2020, we saw how it looked in the trailer a moment ago, they don't compare too favourably. But nearly one year later, things have dramatically improved. The game has caught up with the trailers, and this is Nassau in 2021. If you go there right now, this is exactly what it looks like. Now, as the Sober have said many times before, water masks or coral water, these type of things are the elements that they have to go in and hand create. Here again is Bora Bora. We saw the trailer a moment ago. That's how it looked in 2020, and this is how it looks in 2021. Looks pretty stunning, right? So as I was saying, these type of effects need to be effectively handcrafted by the developers. They need to go in and make sure everything looks as it should. Currently, there's no automated way of doing this, although Asobo are looking into ways of doing that. It will require some tweaking because, well, it seems that the main problem, well, it seems the main issue, as always, is that it comes down to available data. And we can see an example of that in the next scene right here. Uh, basically, it's sometimes a little bit difficult just from the uh, satellite data to get an idea of how places are meant to look. As you can see, there's a dividing line here. Uh, which one is the more accurate one? Another factor that's in play here that Nasoba have pointed out in the past is the need to know what type of material resides below the water. So is it sand? Is it clay? What else is going on there? A rock? Volcanic rock? All of these will have a different effect on how things should actually look. But as you can see, yeah, things have improved vastly over the past few months. Sobo keep improving different areas, and this one I think particularly looks very, very nice indeed. There is some slight glitching going on here that I do want to point out because obviously I don't want to sweep issues under the rug and pretend they're not there. Uh, you can see my settings there. The issue here was these blocks that appear to load in as I get near them. Now this is only apparent in this particular location, I didn't notice it anywhere else. It's not a significant issue, but it's just something I thought I should point out. But do let me know if you see this in the sim yourself, or is it not something that you get, at least in this specific area? Now, right here, I'm off the coast of the Cape of Eleuthera, right in the Bahamas, and yes, it's a stunning looking area. You can also find an equally beautiful area if you head towards the south from this particular location and look around Exuma. Now, the weather here was very, very calm. I think the uh, wind was only set to a few knots. Obviously, if you set that a little bit higher, you'll also get some ripple effects over the water as well, something that's not noticeable from this particular height. Now, these type of stunning water effects are not just found out in the ocean or in the seas, but also can be found very, very close to the coasts, and in some cases, inland. And when seen in conjunction with the landscape, such as this rugged terrain, it can be pretty impressive indeed. Now, there was a vast difference between the Oceana trailer, the footage we saw back then, compared to how it appeared in Sim back in 2020. And today, things are very, very different. Now, one thing I did want to show you all that does have a dramatic impact on the appearance of any scene or location that you're actually in is there are two factors, really, two major factors. Firstly, the time of day. Secondly, the positioning of the clouds. And you can see as I move the cloud layers up and down here, the massive impact it has on the lighting of this particular area. So if you want to fly through any location and have that location with a specific appearance, then make sure you mess around a little bit with time of day and also the cloud layer and cloud coverage as well. Quite an important and a key factor there. In terms of the water effects themselves then, Asobo have recently mentioned in a Q&A with the developers that they will be looking to change the behaviour of water in 2022. There's also been some brief mentions of the desire to implement tidal effects, so this would mean high tides and low tides, which really would give some impressive dynamics worldwide when in pretty much any location around the sim. So water is definitely a work in progress. We see it improving pretty much month on month. It sounds like Asobo have some big plans for it over the coming years. 
As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.